this is Beaverdale. And there's a big subdivision going over there I haven't seen before. And I'm standing on top of a tailings pile. And Carmi is over there right behind the big tall tree right in the middle. Right there, and that's Nipple Mountain right behind it. And I think up above my car there, there's a mine. I'm gonna go and check it out. So I just Googled this, and in 1897, rich silver ore was discovered here. I'm a little surprised this is uh, still accessible. A little murky, I put my boots on and I got a headlamp. And I can't bring myself to put on a hard hat, although I brought one. I hate hard hats, always hit my head. Got some snow going on here. It's a little deep. I'm gonna get some wet feet. I'm not careful. I don't know if there's any bears in here. Tis the season. Get my headlamp going here. Whoa! Drop the keys in the puddle. Wow! That would suck working in here. Whoa! Oh, this is cool. Whoa! It's slippery though. I'm uh, on a sheet of ice. Well, we got headlamp in one hand, phone in the other. Oh, this is all frozen, eh? No wonder. It's so slippery. It looks like it was just the floor here. This isn't too promising, eh? Got some lumber, bit of a cave in. Only a few feet inside. So, kind of chilly in here. But it's pretty big, I'm standing up now. Whoa, sounds like that ice is gonna break underneath me. Wouldn't that be ironic to fall through the bottom and not have the top fall in on me? Oh, it's making little grippy sounds here. Like you'd expect in the bottom of a massive dam. Or a dungeon. I wonder how far this goes in. I can uh, see way further than you can with this light on, so it's not actually as dark as it looks. I bet you this light ice lasts for a while in here. It's really quite chilly. Oh, we got railroad tracks. Quite tall here. <laughs> That's how me break into the ice. Wow, cool. Check that out, eh? Another little cave in spot here. Can you hear the drips? It's a kind of deep water there. Man, these uh, railroad tracks are pretty rickety. Oh, <laughs> creepy sounds. That's how far I've come in. Been just slightly uphill the whole way and just keeps going in a straight line. Got a fork in the road here. Bit of a cave in. That looks like it's a dead end. Maybe that was a spot to uh, pull cars off while some are coming in, some are going out. It's quite tall here. Uh, I can probably just barely touch the roof. Same with up ahead. It's a little bit drier here with all the sporadic water walking on the ties. Oh, there's a beer can. Oh, got another little pull out. Yeah, I'm gonna get wet feet if I keep going much further here. But I'm gonna go a little further. Can't resist. Can't come this far. Oh, this might be the end of the road. Ah, Kaslaw.
Something's going on here. Well, you see the tracks are under the water there. Looks like it goes in a ways further. But that's as far as Paul's going without getting wet. Cool. Well, that's Beaverdale Mine. Quite a ways in. See my breath? <laughs> well, that's a cool little excursion if you're ever in Beaverdale area. Wallace Mountain, a couple of kilometers up the road. Well, how safe that is, but I didn't feel too bad. Yeah. Cool stuff. Well, I drove up the road a little further because I couldn't resist. And I came across that. It's almost a glorified outhouse, but it totally isn't. I have no idea what it is. Maybe a communications tower at one point? Kind of weird. I think, uh, well, I know there's several mines around here. I think the one I was in was just the big one. So I have an idea where another one is. I'm gonna go have a quick look. So I'm following the tailings. Which is kind of like chasing waterfalls, except this rock. And sure enough, there's another one. I'm gonna pop my head inside that too. I can't resist. I think there's been some unsavory vermin in here. From the look of it, someone's gone through the trouble of piling a bunch of sticks in there. Well, this one's pretty tall too. back well, as far as you and I can see there. Cool beans. Don't see any tracks in this one. Again, substantially cooler there than it is out here. All right, I think that's enough of that. I'm out. Ah, I just passed it. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Amateurs, blame it on the iPhone. I was just saying there's uh, lots of these cabins. It's like the third or fourth one I've seen. Remnants of cabins. I'm assuming they're old minor cabins. Pretty cool. I don't know why that's so cool, but I think it is. Just doing a little recon for a waterfall I heard up the West Kettle. And I came across this, which totally puts my zip lines to shame. Look at that. And it's locked, but it's not really locked. I just don't have a reason to cross the river. Too bad, eh? Got a nice little uh, private campsite right here that I did find. Now I might go for a quick rip up the river and actually see if I can get to that waterfall, which I thought would be a day trip, but I think I might be able to do it now.